Well, 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 well. You Kyle Busch sycophants, as well as the sycophants of Matty D, think that uh, using the word fuck in regards to Denny Hamlin is the same thing as saying an ableist, insensitive slur that insults disabled people, huh? No! No, it is not the same thing. You're literally using damage control and a Tukoko fallacy to justify Kyle Busch's wrongdoings. Fuck is just a simple sw common swear word that doesn't refer to any group of people, whether it be skin color, nationality, fucking um, sexual orientation, or disability. It means to either fuck, have sex with someone, or destroy something, or a figure of speech by saying, oh god damn it, or oh shit, that's a mishap. Shit, damn, fuck, those words are not the same thing as the R word, the N word, the homophobic Q, F, and G word. Can you, Kyle Bush, said an able, the ableist R word. Can I not stress enough that you said a derogatory slur to group Brad Kizilowski in the same category as people with disabilities as supposedly stupid, and you seem fine with it! And it certainly does not help that you have Matty D saying stupid fucking piles of rancid, disgusting filth that only makes me want to just grab my fucking bottle of spray and just bruise that bullshit in and, and just rid the stigma off the face of social media like how he just nullified the existence of his uh, Twitter good riddance because everyone's getting fed up with his bullshit and victimizing his faith for attention as a desperate attempt to say oh please hire me now please hire me I can provide better stats even though you race for the same fucking team that Ryan Blaney won at the tricky triangle with four years ago and Matty D since you're gonna play the uh, gender identity comparison game how would I kindly and genteely and cordially do the exact same to you identify as you being a below average piece of fucking shit driver that did nothing special outside of taking advantage of a fucking loophole in 2020 into the playoffs and even if, when you made the playoffs you didn't do jack shit above a fucking 400 pound crackhead crackhead driving a vehicle into off a fucking bridge the only reason why you made it into the fucking playoffs is because Jimmy Johnson had his DNQ at Charlotte, very wrongfully so if you ask me, but I digress. And especially, who can forget the lovely, wonderful news that he was slapped in the nuts with Corona around the 4th of July weekend. Completely divorced from those situations, he would have been in the playoffs, and you would have just been thought of as another useless, fruitless, absolutely unabashedly dumpster fire of a copy and paste version of J.J. Yaley. Oh, and just to add insult to injury, Bubba Wallace, someone who's supposedly the SJW scapegoat, has more cup wins than you and has a more stable job than you. Blow me. You, you, you fucking dare to be a, an attention-seeking religious dingbat as an attempt to get hired? All because you, your stats are below mediocre at best? Give me a fucking break. Hold Kyle Bush accountable for what he said. The word fuck doesn't refer to a group of people with disabilities. The R word does. So your little excuses can go jump off the fucking edge of Mount Vesuvius and dissolve into fucking dust and ashes. 
you, the damage control is just mind numbing. The the absolute desperation in these Kyle Busch sycophants. Some of these uh, already previously supported Denny Hamlin, and now they're throwing Denny Hamlin under the bus in order to take the heat off of what Kyle Busch said? You're talking about a driver that is rightfully so held to a higher standard. Also, nobody's canceling anybody over anything. They are being disciplined and criticized for their stupidity. Matty D already canceled himself a long time ago based on how much of absolute dumpster fire his statistics are. <clears throat> Do you, does anyone see how stupid it is, it is now? Can I not stress enough that you are desperately trying to rationalize an ableist piece of shit? And you all seem okay with this. You all seem okay with this revolting deplorability that is being possessed by both Matty D and Kyle Bush. He's done, Kyle Bush and Matty D have done so many revolting, reprehensible things to the point where forgiveness is just out of the question. And I just cannot at all give them any more chances anymore you do not negotiate with those kinds of fucking idiots the pettiness of these clowns and just to piss you boomers off yeah i said boomer blow me you're, you idiots are the ones to say oh don't get so fragile and sensitive over just words even though you blow a plop a blood vessel in your eye when someone says conservative trump like in Incel, hick, redneck, boomer, and on and on and on. Can I not stress your hypocrisy enough like I always do at nauseum? You. <sighs> oh my god. The hard right just. The hard right of every pop culture or whatever source of media just has the worst lack of self-awareness on the face of this fucking planet. Good lord, you're always looking for excuses. You're always looking for excuses to victimize douchebaggery when the obvious writing was already on the wall for Matty D. The obvious writing is was already on the wall for Kyle Busch a long time ago. Your precious Jesus in a Candy Carr said an ableist, insensitive, derogatory word, and he should be held accountable to it. And if you're going to say, oh, if you don't like freedom of speech, you move to China. Yeah, there's a difference between have, having morality and having the power to say stupid shit. Yeah, if I am in possession of a gun, yeah, I have the power to pull the trigger and take somebody's life, but that does not mean I'm morally in the right just because I have the power. So, good old Matty Dibby D, Kyle Rowdy Bush, good buddies, old home slice, good old pals, if I have anything to take away from this video, venting towards your deplorability it's these lovely lyrics by beast in black You guys really should rewatch Spider-Man 1 from 2002. These are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. This guy, Flash Thompson, he probably deserved what happened. But just because you can beat him up doesn't give you the right to. Remember, with great power, comes great responsibility.